that just living the dream. That's what you can do on the Gold Coast day in, day out. So many beautiful days. Unfortunately, the weather has just changed in the last 15 minutes or so. And it's still great conditions this afternoon. Men's pairs final is just about to get underway. The players just completing their warm-ups. Chris Hurden and Carl Healy will be wearing the blue. Aaron Tees and Harley McDonald wearing the yellow. Australian national coach Steve Glasson joining us again in commentary for this final. And I know you'll have a very, very keen eye on both Harley and Aaron as young prospects coming through the system, Glass. Have a good eye on all four, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, they're all uh, they're all great talents. So really looking forward to this. It's going to be another outstanding match. I mean, we've just seen an exhibition beyond all belief with the two girls playing off in the singles final. Now this to back it up. So uh, it's a feast of talent. I'm looking forward to it. The shower that came over about... 15 minutes ago it was all but cleared it's still very overcast just see in the background there that the blazing sunshine and beautiful clear sky that we had is not quite with us at the moment but it, it came out of nowhere really didn't it, it really did yeah yeah it's definitely eased off in the last five minutes you can see on the bowls too and certainly on the jackers we got in nice and close that just picking up a bit of the, the surface moisture yeah a little bit of the um the loose sort of dead grass that and now our final begins Harley McDonald on screen. As we're having a good look here just to see what if they can learn anything from the green in these two roll-up ends. It's the only opportunity they get, so. It's a good thing for new bowlers, Barry, to probably take on board in a roll-up. You get, generally in all games, you get a, an end up and an end back. And you quite often see guys listen to horse race or having a bit of a chat, you know, this <laughs> yeah. sort of thing. Um, more grassroots level with all due respect, but this this is the only chance you get to learn something before you start. So these roll-up ends are, are really important to to learn. Maybe pick a hand, pick any idiosyncrasies that you may or may not like with the rink. And try and roll up two different lengths if you can, so you get a good full feel of the full coverage of the green. And the other one too is you got to warm up, you know, it's just dropped maybe a degree or two, a little bit of rain's been around. Your first delivery as a skipper could be a full-blooded drive trying to smack a head open or something. So you want to be warmed up, ready to go. You want to um, be 100% yeah, ready. So preparation is the key. And you can see the bowls picking up a lot of grass as the greens have been cut today and rolled twice. But with the little bit of rain we've had, the green's still running at least, I'd say, 15 to 15 and a half seconds. Wonderful. It'll just take a little bit of the edge off it, won't it? Just a little bit. Slow it down a fraction. Just a think? fraction, yeah. just a fraction. But it's not going to really worry these guys because they didn't know what it was like before this. So they're obviously watching uh, the tail end of the women's singles match. But well, the teams meet in the middle and wish each other luck. Well, pretty good mates, these guys too. Mm. They all get along very well. They're, um, they play a lot together in New South Wales state sides and things like that. Yeah. Harley McDonald, current club singles champion. At the mighty club Warilla, he would have had a hard, hard road into that <laughs> final. It's like and, winning uh, the AO single, yeah, silly, oh, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. It's not an easy title to win, that one. <laughs> no, and uh, it, that's obviously an indication of his form at the moment, to win something of that magnitude, um, which they obviously take very seriously. I only just found out the other day, one of our Australian players hasn't yet won an, a, a state, a club singles. I was quite a sh uh, astonished at that. So well, that's how hard they are to win a club singles. I've got to have a think about that now. There you go. There's your trivia. Male or female? Male. Male. Bit of trivia for today. One of our current Australian Jackaroos has not won a club singles. There you go. Well, I'm going to have a crack at this. Well, second-hand information. So my resource, I'll, I, I reckon it's really good. But I only just found out the other day. I was going to say you, Baz. Second-hand information. <laughs> Does that make you a bit nervous? <laughs> no, no. Well, I thought it was a good source. But, um, but that just proves... 
you know, for Harley to win a club singles at Warilla is a massive achievement, and to, to win a club singles sometimes can be the, one of the hardest ones to win. Everyone's gunning for you, and <laughs> you, <laughs> the, the club members, they want that big scalp. And, and it's quite often played over a long distance of time too, so whilst you may have a bit of temporary form, you know, you've got to, it's got to be a longevity thing really, hasn't it? So. Oh, well, just if you went by the stands of standards of this roll-up, uh, we're in for a uh, high-quality match. <laughs> Even the roll-up, they were all within touching distance of the jack. Amazing. See plenty of aggression in this game, I think. Um, both Carl and Aaron are both very aggressive players. They don't mind having a bit of a fun run, getting into it early, breaking the head up, so they won't be shy of attacking, that's for sure. Yeah, Chris Hurden, as I mentioned just before, two years ago, runner-up in the Australian Open pairs to, uh, it was Baker and Wild. Uh, it was a really good final, that match. And uh, he was with, he was with uh, Matty Miles that year. So yes. Chris Hurden's back on the big stage again. And Aaron Tees, the same year, won the singles over Ryan Bester. So the two of those names you mentioned, Bester and Baker, are in this year's singles final. There you so go. How's that? Up for grabs, $5,000 each, $10,000 in total for the winners. And the runners up, $2,500 each, and $5,000 in total. Last year it was Josh Thornton and the man sitting to my left, Barry Lester, who were the men's pairs champion. Barry Lester and his meal ticket, Josh Thornton. <laughs> this is, uh, so Rurilla versus, and this is interesting because knowing the local demographic, we've got St. John's Park playing with Cabramatta. Correct. Two fierce rivals in the Zone 12 area in Sydney, combining their sublime talents to come together to uh, have a crack at an AO title, so. So. Yeah, fair start, mate. Harley, <coughs> Harley McDonald on the forehand to the southern direction. Nice start there with inside two feet. Chris Hurden, majority of the time, plays back end uh, bowls, you know, third skip in, in club and state fair level start, bowls, mate. but a very consistent player on the draw as well, and good sign there. Both players inside two feet straight away. Harley's another one of these youngsters, Glass, that just technically perfect. Just, just and, and doesn't beat around the bush. No, it'll be a quick game. I hope, hope you're direct, mate, yeah. All oh, four players pretty. Carl's probably the, the more mechanical player of the lot as far as time on the mat is concerned, but it's certainly not long-winded. What up, mate? We got. That's a nice change, over. That's a great change, isn't it? First in. No, mate, little touch up. Is that something as coach that you're noticing is changing? I, I, you certainly seem to note it from a commentary standpoint that the younger players are playing quicker and quicker and quicker all the time. Yeah, I think it is really. Oh, um, really, you got now, mate. There's Pass. probably always been some quick players through history, but, but generally these days. Nice as that, mate. Trying up and over your wide one now to bowl short. A lot of them tend to play without much fear either, so they, they're up and into it very quickly. Mm. Not a bad thing because they're not overthinking it. That's the, the difference that you'll hear in this match as well as opposed to the women's singles if you were with us earlier, where singles is a very lonely game and you've got no one to talk to other than the marker. Communication is crucial in men's pairs. Quite a lot of chatter generally between uh, all players out on the rink. I'm, lo I'm loving that already though, just to see the experience in these players shine through. Chris Hurden making sure his last bowl's up. And uh, and Glass, I'm sure you'll probably agree, it's probably going to be a case now the Greens slow down a little bit. It's the team that has the most short bowls or ineffective, ineffective bowls yes, yeah, yeah. that will probably come up short in this match. And I know it's only the first end, but bowls like that from Harley, They've got to be really a lot less of those. Minimized, That's yeah, right. Yeah. He's played two good ones. Yes, he now, has. Now, Teasy straight away very close and has, well, he's manufactured the shot out of it. It's a good bowl, good conversion. Interestingly, too, Carl stayed at the head. Yeah, I did notice that. Yeah, so, so there's already some immediate tactics mm. employed here. Yeah. Yeah. 
So the rules state that you must walk down to the other end after the leads have played their bowls, Glass. Is that right? But for TV, I think well, there's no time limit. Well, there's so no time limit, but you, you still got to abide by the conditions of play, so... Could be a case of a little bit of a little bit of nerves as well and, and new he, environment and, and he was in conjunct he wasn't a discussion with the marker at that stage the rink marker that was out there so perhaps just got caught up in the conversation and and Sorry, uh, mate. rather than doing the wrong thing by following Teasy up and, and holding him up right. decided to stay so I mean all these guys play the sport and, and play the game in great spirit great sportsmanship so one thing I definitely noticed a couple of years ago with Robbie Baker uh, sorry Robbie Wild and Sean Baker was the, the communication between both players. No. And straight away, just to hear Teasy say, what's the situation, mate? Harley give him a direct answer straight away. Uh, no chit-chat, just answer answer the question. And it's that communication these players have amongst themselves because they're teammates at their club level and know each other's games really well. Know each other well, don't they? Know each other's games, their personalities. So Carl just needing to run a fraction here. He's not far off. So I watched the semi-final, and with Aaron Tees yesterday against Benny Twist uh, in that match, and, and David, David Ferguson, Ferguson yeah. and, and I must say Aaron Tees um, was sensational. So 14-7 was the result in that semi-final, which is a significant victory yeah, in well a in a match of that magnitude, isn't it? And, and all players played well. But uh, he just really cut the mustard yesterday. It was fantastic. Get up. He's willing to get up. Just a bit gentle. Probably psychologically that bowler Carl's a little bit in his mind there. Well, they do have the spot option here. Hurden and Healy. He can get both bowls if he wanted to back oh, himself. Yeah, Edge of the front, wide. That's right. That's what they're looking at. Okay, so uh, both very aggressive. So chance here. He's got probably the next three or four after these two. He can play it. And he's watching it. Bit of extra aggression to finish up from oh. Carl Healy. My goodness! It's the bowl that Cr Chris Hurden pointed at. He's almost played it. He's very unlucky actually. That was a great shot. What an effort, Carl Healy. <laughs> <laughs> very unlucky. Right on the step. money. And the McDonald and Tees combination. Draw first blood. Let's have another look here. So looking for both bowls. Just... Oh, oh. oh you're kidding, aren't you? <laughs> Seriously? What an effort, Carl Healy. Oh, he's reduced it to one, though. Great start. Good quality head of bowls straight away. Carl Healy and Chris Hurden on the way through. Defeated... Kevin Anderson and Ryan Bester in the semi-final, 20 to 14. And in the quarterfinals, too good for Jaden Christie and Aaron Sheriff, if you don't mind, 18 to 14. Nice easy draw. A couple of good scalps oh. on the way through. Oh. Winning form is good form. See Di Marshall coming in, the much better half of the Marshall couple. <laughs> Alex out from Scotland. Lovely lady, Alex a bit sus, but yeah. Both sporting a nice tan at the moment. When they go back to Scotland, <laughs> yeah. their friends will be quite jealous. Good start. Pessy Hurden, former Tamworth boy. Now based at the very big and luxurious St. John's Park in Sydney. Nice point up short there. Well done. Might be enough a shot though. Just noticing Harley McDonald's and Aaron T's delivery quite similar in a way. Uh, I know they play a lot of bowls together, but nice and low and compact. Yes. Just add a fraction, mate. Good, mate. Uh, two really good bowls, Chris Hurd, and both in the match in that scoring area for this sort of these conditions. One thing watching the semis yesterday again. Focus on the yellow team here, but Harley did start a little bit slow in that semi-final. Now that's that's been critical, but just up. wasn't at his brilliant best. Up. 
but he ramped it up right throughout the game and got better and better and better. And in the end, it was a shining light in their victory as well. So. Chris Hurdy just missing wide on this occasion, but three bowls in the scoring zone. He'll be somewhat happy with those. Gives Carl Healy a lot of confidence when getting on the mat. And the changeover. Aaron Tees approaches the mat for quite a few of you. You may have seen him in action for the last two bowls Premier Leagues with the Warilla Gorillas. The Illawarra Gorillas, I should say, from Club Warilla. Yes, spot on. Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> yeah, that's a tricky one. I'll, le I'll leave that one up to you, Jack. Yeah. You can have that one. It's all yours. So T's falling short on the forehand. Little well, pathfinder. Well, the thing is, it doesn't make Carl's job that much easier. It actually narrows the gap there. Carl wanted to play on this backhand. Certainly a teaser where it finished unintentionally. A teaser from Teasy. Carl's staying on the back end, though. He's played it pretty well. They're setting the trap, aren't they? Oh, there's now another option forming. Both bowls or Jack. Starting to be outnumbered. Teasy determined to get past here. Try and provide a bit of insurance to these covering blue balls, these back blue balls. He's played it well. He's going to draw a shot as well, so that's oh, yeah. near perfect. Might see bigger weight now. Fairly good reply, that one. <laughs> yeah, interesting here, Carl Healy. If Aaron Tees can draw the shot on his forehand. Well, maybe Carl can. No, he's going to go big here. He's going to go more solid here. Wants that jack out Again of there. Swinger. He likes it. He's Gee, the line interest. is fantastic. Well, peeled one out. Good shot. And oh. also got oh, 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 oh. the backward out as well of the opposition. So Here we go. Got to get the tee, I think. Oh. <laughs> so Aaron Tees, you just heard there, mic'd up for us and said, I've just got to get to the tee. So he's perhaps anticipating that there might Try be... Try and get to sort of where you're standing. Some more weight. Must get past. Hurden and Healy with one to come after this. Uh, Aaron T is currently holding two shots. He's four down at the back. And there it is. There's the back of Spol. Yep. Well, Aaron T's second delivery was is now the shot on the forehand and I, I believe Carl and Aaron are using the same bowls. So he has every chance of drawing it himself. I think he'll play some sort of weight here. I just, I'm not exactly sure what, but I think he'll play some sort of weight here to try and manufacture a bit of a... Staying on the backhand. Aaron T's first bowl, the very short one, making life difficult for Carl here. Well, he's trying to draw the shot, so. Yeah. His first delivery was a draw shot on that hand. Just overweight. It's not a mile away. If it gets down, he's a chance here, Carl Healy. It's not a mile away, I'll tell you. Well, that is a good shot, no matter what. He's just got a fall. Oh, it stayed up. Yeah. Great had attempt. Had a fell over. May have been a bit more helpful. Shot to just doing it in small margins at the moment. Harley McDonald and Aaron Tees, they lead by two shots. So for those who have just joined us or are new to the Australian Open, 2,000 competitors or more across 18 disciplines, which is what's so wonderful about the event. You've got all of your men's and women's disciplines in the singles and the pairs and the fours, bowlers with a disability for the vision impaired, the hearing impaired, intellectual disabilities as well it it really is the event for everyone and it's and it's very much the luck of the draw that anyone can enter and you could have potentially on the way through played against Harley McDonald and Aaron Tees or right. like so many people have been able to do in 
in the fours you may have drawn the great Alex Marshall or the great Stephen Glasson. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you should be on stage, Jack. <laughs> so, Baz, you are still the current title holder of the AO pairs. For another still. hour and a half or so. Still. Thank, thanks, boys. Thank you. Is there some sort of crazy tradition for the winners of the AO pairs that, uh, you know, how they celebrate it? Um, you know, what they do afterwards? I, I, what did you guys do? Oh, good, mate. Well, I tried to put some cordial into the trophy last year. Right. Uh, to enjoy a nice drink after the, the final and um, noticed there was a there's a actual a nut and bolt in the bottom of the trophy so that that didn't go down too well no uh, and then I just end up got got permission to take the trophy home and and uh, slept with it in in my bed so um, if the winner chooses to take the trophy home with him tonight and sleep with it good luck to him <laughs> um, but other than that no we didn't didn't really do anything out of the ordinary last year uh, just got around friends and family and kept it Pretty lit, it, pretty good lid on it, glass. So, oh, well, that's that's very good. So there's no 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 outrageous tradition or something. So no, Ali, no. I might be able to up. this year's winners to set the up, tone for buddy. that. Come on, we'll, we'll say got? something though. We were in yellow last year, and oh, I'm, I'm not overly superstitious, but. Don't mind you on the high side, mate. Uh, third wood to there is great. Well, Rebecca Van Ash just won the singles in yellow. Correct. <laughs> so it might be the colour of the 2018 Australian Open. This sport just continues to produce youngsters with so much ability. We just saw the women's singles final, which was a 30-year-old versus a 24-year-old in this men's pairs final. Chris Hurden, 28. Carl Healy, 31. Aaron Tees and Harley McDonald, both 24 years old. The future is bright in this country. And having just been through the Commonwealth Games... Steve and talking to a number of different nations they're very envious of the talent pathway program that exists here in Australia well it, it is fabulous there's no doubt we've got some wonderful people doing some wonderful work but the sport has to be credit to it too because the sport naturally does here in Australia bring through some phenomenal talent so I think with weight of numbers um, fabulous conditions opportunities that are provided for players through clubs and, and different situations that certainly helps as well so and and these guys out here now they sell it to the young guys as well and that's why we're getting so many more because mm. they see the young people playing it they see how good they are at it the opportunities so we're off for a three-week tour of the UK this coming week so what a great opportunity and, and life experience for our younger ones heading over there yeah, memories forever. Uh, the, the things they'll take away from that trip on and off the green. See some wonderful sights, beautiful countryside of Wales. How far, mate? They'll learn a few lessons. I'm sure our English counterparts will be talking cricket at some stage. <laughs> so, um. now, Carl next needs to just take a yard of weight off here to add to the count. And he's just overdone it. He's just trying to flat draw this. Four bowls pretty much down the centre line. Really kind conditions at the moment. Yeah, that rain's shifted. It's passed through. Pretty no breeze at all now, is there? I mean, he's just a metre short, really. That's all. Track was perfect, so a chance here for Carl. Add the extra. Not a lot of room, but the guy's certainly capable of doing it. chance here for Carl Healy with the last bowl of the end as Barry said been a very good end as far as accuracy look at how many bowls are on the center line or just off close if he runs ounce more oh he's done everything but get there really <laughs> it's a sensational attempt he's gonna just miss out they're on the board <laughs> It's the main thing for the Hurden and Healy combination to get on the scoreboard, and they have done that. Eighteen ends played in the pairs format. We'd love for you to join us tomorrow at the Australian Open 
as we flip the formats on their heads. We have women's pairs action, and then the men's singles final, which will round out the tournament. Conditions absolutely perfect right now. A little bit of cloud cover. Just a hint of moisture on the green from the little passing shower we had. We're just going to see some spectacular bowls over the next hour or two from all four players. And Chris Hurden's first bowl there inside, inside a foot. <laughs> That's the quality we're looking at here. Not to mention some shot play we'll see later in, as they present. There you go. Come on. Two quality shot makers in Carl Healy and Aaron Tees. They're all playmakers, aren't they? They're all. There's great. They can all play in any any position. They've got all the shots. Chris Hurden, New South Wales representative at the recent Australian Sides Championships. Done well, bud. Interestingly, Baz, you talked about the, well, not your superstition, but the, the fact of uh, yeah, having won last road, year mate. in yellow, Rebecca winning in yellow. I can see a gentleman reading a magazine here, magazine down here with um, Aaron Tees. When he won the singles, he was in yellow. There you go. Anyone that's superstitious. Just missing wide, Harley. Well done, Needs a fall in off that wing bowl. Well, that's a good good mate. shot, though. Nice reply from his first delivery. Good response. Good little changeover. Uh, Chris Hurd, two good shots so far. Clears the front. He's going to be in a good position here. And that's three good shots. Well done, go back there now, mate. Give yours a roll. good. Just slip around him. A little chop and change there for Harley McDonald. Backhand, forehand, now backhand again. T's just asking to maybe a, for a positional bowl, either sit the shot bowl Hurry or split the three Hurry bowls line, up. Mate. Come on. Change where his own front Hurry. bowl is a little bit. All you got, buddy. Oh, up, he's up. liking it. Guts. That's pretty oh, good. That's a very, very good, good shot. Yeah. There's angles there now, much more positive. Next to play, Carl Healy from the Cabramatta Club in Sydney. I'm going to give them a little plug there, our High Performance New South Wales Centre of Excellence, and we're very grateful for all they contribute to bowls, HP, the community, everything. Got a very, very good stock of players that call Cabramatta home as well. Certainly have. Karen Murphy and Aaron Wilson, just to name a couple. Alan Ryan. Alan Ryan, of course. Ray Pierce. Yes. Alan and Wilson. the bear. The bear. Big Corey Wedlock. The big bear. And great speed there. So two seconds. And lady that'll feature in the women's pairs final, Jess Hogan. Just received a text message off Braden Lease, uh, former finalist a couple of years ago, who actually played against Baker and Wild. And uh, nice connection from Teasy. Close. Change things up a bit. Braden and his dad, Paul, uh, they're sitting there watching the final. Big shout out to Paul. He's going through a bit of health issues at the moment. Thanks for tuning in, mate. Hope you're enjoying the action. This looks to be on a nice approach towards the jack. Perfect. Just That'll perfect. Draw at least one. If not a couple. Now Marco Carlos Gonzalez indicating two. No messing around from Aaron Tees here. He's on the attack. The front. Hold. Willing it to Hold. clear the front. Hold. It did clear that well. Oh, yes. Great shot. Yes. Probably about as good as a result he could have extracted out of that too. Very good shot now. I think Carl's got to draw this. He's got two seconds, but there's just too much room for Aaron Tees, but we'll see. That's that shot uh, shot play we were talking about before. It's going to be a lot of that this match. A lot of ends, 18 ends. It's going to be a lot of those little niggly running shots, trying to dislodge bowls, shift jacks. All four players very capable of turning it on at any stage. As the sun starts to just peek its way back through the clouds. Carl Healy on the back end. Oh, 
Seems to be on a good line. Has he got the weight? Got to hurry. Looks pretty good. Just to really run hard now. He's going to go very close. He's played it. Well oh played, yeah. Carl Healy. Good shot. Good answer. Well, it's all on Aaron Tees. Oh, I think Carl Healy showed him the way on the back end. He just follow him down. Just give it a little bit of a chance here. Jack around the corner. Confident draw shot. He's following it with interest too. Going to get down in time. Weight looks great. Weight looks very good. He's very close here. Look at oh, this for a Aaron shot. Aaron Tees. Great shot, Aaron Tees. Made two of it as well. Got the bonus. Is just a little sample of this young man's capabilities. One shot down becomes two shots up. And it's a good little advantage that the combination of Harley McDonald and Aaron Tees enjoy. They lead by three shots after four ends here in the men's pairs final. Earlier, earlier today, it was Rebecca Van Ash victorious in the women's singles final over Christina Christic. And a great match that we saw as well. 21-19, the end result. It was fitting that two of the best players in the country went head-to-head. -head. And Rebecca, victorious, the pride of Tasmania. They'll be dancing all night in the Apple Isle. And now it's the all-New South Wales final. Harley McDonald and Aaron Tees leading Chris Hurden and Carl Healy. The fifth end. And it's a three shot advantage to the McDonald Tees combination. His head's wide open for a skipper to make a, their mark on this end. Aaron Tees just sliding past. Probably enough a shot. Yeah, I think it would be. But you've got a guy like Carl Healy. You don't want to give him too much room. Two feet. So three goes at it. Played a lot of games for New South Wales over the years. A former Australian under-25 player. And he's got it with his first. It's a good sign. Yeah, very good touch, Carl Healy. Aaron Tees. No harm in just reaching, touching the jack. That's solid bowls, though, right in the mix. All four of them, uh, and it's still early in the match, I guess, but very steady, aren't they? There's, there's very little margin for error. Yeah, hence the reason they're in this final, Jack. You know, you've got to play about nine or ten games just to, to make the final, and you just can't ha afford to have really an off game because the quality of these pairs that are out there in this event... You've got front-end players that can consistently draw right inside Two. the jack, and then you've got the back-end quality of these kind of guys. How many seconds? <laughs> Let's try the same shot. That call yeah. from Harley didn't exactly fill Aaron with confidence. <laughs> oh, and, they, and again, that's a great thing because they know each other so well, so you can read the, uh, read the call, read the body language, so... He's up and away. No holes, no holes. It was a call of one, I think. No holes. No holes, he's saying no Wants holes. Wants the no jack. Holes. No holes. I was thinking, I tell you what, <sighs> didn't he call that early? Yep. That's the trueness of these greens. Out of the hand, you've got a really good idea of where it's finishing. These greens are that true. We heard Christina say it in the interview earlier. He knew a third of the way along then that he was definitely in the, in the zone. Please don't give me the hole. Yeah. A third of the way up, so... I think Carl might be just a bit overweight here. Well, but unless, two out of three ain't bad. Unless, noob. <laughs> <laughs> Needed something very lucky from there, didn't uh, it? Jack, you would have taken it, wouldn't you? Oh, every day of the week. <laughs> two shots for Carl Her Healy and Chris Hurden. So just cut it back to one, the difference. In the afternoon session at the Broad Beach Bowls, Cl Bowls Club. Action in other disciplines have pretty much all wrapped up for the day. So all eyes right here on the television ring. We 
play 18 ends in pairs format. We do have a tiebreaker available if required as well. Potentially, all square. Yep. That would be interesting. Jump on, mate. Now <laughs> Toss of the coin, and then one end shootout. And then away we go. Uh, Chris Hurden, probably four feet, I would have thought. Right on the centre rink, just four foot short. Come on, up. It is slightly longer this up end. To it, mate. Probably right looking at about 34 start, to 35 mate. metres here. Great start. It's, you heard Aaron T say, great start. That's exactly what it was. Harley taking advantage of a, just a slightly loose one from Chrissy Hurden. Not to be outdone, though. Uh, excellent reply from Chris Hurden. Really well done, good second mate, shot. Ball, little touch again. So Harley McDonald switching to the forehand. Coming Probably on this, mate. Well done. Good. Good best results, maybe some protection now around Chris Hurden's bowl, and he's done that well. That's perfect, mate. Good thinking. So Chris Hurden now he's established a second shot. Probably afford to just arrive and look for the shot bowl here, if not reach down to the tee. Oh, he's played it pretty well to there. Carl Hill is getting excited. So he should. He's all over this. Wow, well played. Great Chris Hurden. Chris Hurden. Brilliant. Mm. Man, how good does Harley McDonald's last delivery look now? Straight away, you hear the call from Teasy. Weight's good. So mm. same weight. Doesn't need to change too much. Forehand reaching. Aaron Teasy's asking it to hold. And he's just missed his line. Might end up in a good home, though. If it, yeah, that's still in the game, that bowl. Absolutely. Speed was really good, and only just underdone with the line, Baz, really. There's that second last shot coming on in. Inch perfect. And that's a that's a really, really good conversion shot from a lead that he doesn't lead a lot. So yeah. a guy like Chris Hurden, when he sees a, that kind of shot, um, that's the beauty of his experience and, and the quality play he is. He can play that shot because he plays it quite often in most most environments he's playing in most competitions. That last bowl in pairs can really make or break a game. The three bowl pairs. Carl Healy looking to get another one in there. We'll just try and change it up. I think Aaron Tees will be <laughs> he'll be right through this. I don't think he'll be mucking around for much longer. Very aggressive player. Yes. Never ever dies wondering, Aaron Tees. This no exception. Well, oh, trouble now though. Oh, that's open the door big time. Well. Keep it back one, mate. Even though Aaron Tees is now three shots down, I still <laughs> believe the way he plays the game, and so he should, you know, he's a quality player. I still think he'll be some form of aggression through this head. You, you just can't rule him out no. at any stage. No. How many is it? Unless Carl Healy can change this up. Well, that's still pretty good. Does that, when you're playing against someone like Aaron Tees, is that constantly in your mind? Yeah. You, you, with you, how aggressive he is? Yep. You just, you're on standby all the time. You're on the toes, aren't you, yep. all the time. And here we go. And Exactly. Four shots down, backing himself to oh, he's under. reduce. Oh, oh, my word. That is an unbelievable <laughs> result. I'm not sure that's exactly what he was going for. Harley McDonald was actually quite embarrassed to put his hand hand keep, up for one there. Keep an eye on Teasy. He will. He plays the sport in great spirit. He will apologise profusely because he knows he's had some absolute divine intervention there. It happens. He doesn't do it intentionally. He doesn't do it on purpose. Yeah, there's a sorry. Yeah. There you go. So, he's still shaking his head. He knows. For those at home, credit. the jack went out of bounds. So when that happens, it's re-spotted. But you're spot on, Glass. That's bowls. You know, he was a probably a bowl, bowl narrow with good weight. Fortunate result, but that is bowls. Yep. And Carl yeah. Healy's trying to get it back. Just going through. Well, 
one shot to the blue. Is it just the one second? So, Teasy, after a stroke of divine intervention, getting a bit of trouble. He's now trying to draw the shot. He needs to stop. He's very close. Mighty effort, Aaron Tease. So, onto the blue team. Well, it's probably a fair result. The blue team actually scored that in because they, yeah. they certainly played it better. So Level pegging. All we can hope for in finals is to have close matches. We're a third of the way down, Steve Glasson, and we've got another tight one. Well, as, as anticipated, but there'll be some twists and turns yet. There was one just then with a bit of luck. As the jack is set up for end number seven, changing the commentary position, Steve Glasson staying with us. And you might be able to just hear a little clinking that's the medal, the gold medal of Rebecca Van Ash, the women's singles champion who's popped up to say hello. Congratulations, Beck. Thanks, Jack. It's uh, nice to join you guys here. Thanks for having me. You're enjoying receiving medals lately, aren't you? Especially <laughs> here on the Gold Coast here at Broadbeach. Yeah, it's like a second home now, Geordie. <laughs> I feel like I've played here more than my home club lately. So, um, yeah, it's exciting to win another gold and um, first time in the singles, so that's extra special. Becoming a golden year, 2018, isn't it? Quite literally. Yeah, it's, um, it's all happening. It's certainly been a busy year, so um, it's nice to keep the winning way happening for a little, up, a little while longer. It's a great match, wasn't it? Um, Christina is a, a quality opponent, and and she pushed you all the way, which I guess you probably expected, really, didn't you? Yeah, she played terrific. Um, I, I think it was, hopefully it was good to watch because it was good to play. <laughs> It was probably our loosest end, that last end, unfortunately. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it was a great quality. I knew it was going to be tough. Um, you know, I'd seen the way Chrissy had been playing. Um, she had actually been in the pairs team that put Jimmy and I out of the pairs. So um, she played really well against us there. I knew she was drawing well. Um, yeah, so I knew it was going to be a tough match. And I, I couldn't seem to get ends off her going towards the park end. Mm. So, um, <laughs> so I just was sort of trying everything there to pick up a few shots on her. And I was sort of winning more going the other way. And... Um, yeah, unfortunately, she got the gap on me and the jump on me. But, yeah, I clawed back, so it was good. It's funny. We were talking about that in the, in the were, broadcast we class, were. weren't we? That it was almost a, a game of two ends. You you were enjoying one end oh there, or one direction, and, and Christina was enjoying, as you said, the park direction. Beck, it was a fabulous game. It really was. And it had everything going. It had monumental shots. It had, um, <laughs> you know, really good defence, everything. So it was thoroughly enjoyable to watch. Well done. Now, you said to me... We talked about that too a week or two back, you know, oh, singles glass, you know, I'm not really blah, blah, blah. And, and here you are, <laughs> the AO singles champion of 2018. So what's been the, the change of thinking or the, the change of feel about singles? You just got on a roll? Yeah, well, it's funny. I've always said that I don't really enjoy singles that much. Well, when I say always, like the last few years, particularly when I've been playing a lot of team events, I've, I really enjoy having my teammates out there. And yeah. I seem to be able to get myself up more when I'm trying to do it for them. Um, so singles hasn't been probably my greatest love the last few years. And um, when I won the indoors last year, I was really happy with the way I'd played and um, went to the World Cup. And I really enjoyed and relished the opportunity there at the World Cup and, and thought, how good this to have four bowls instead of two. <laughs> 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 so that was really cool. And, um, yeah, I have sort of have changed my outlook on it a little bit and I've been really enjoying it and um, enjoyed it all the way through the Aussie Open. And um, even when I sort of got that bit behind, I think it was 17-12 or something, um, I never sort of felt like I was out of it and still felt like I was playing okay. And, um, yeah, I think my mindset was pretty good for singles. You've got a terrific record in the sport. Your resume is becoming as good as anyone's. But does this feel like the best sort of mini run of form in your career so far? Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe um, turning 30 might have um, been good for me. I don't know. Most people don't <laughs> like that. <laughs> when, when they did the announcement at the start and they said um, that I was 30 and Chrissy's like, what, 24, 24 or 26? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh. Don't keep rubbing that in, but um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's all happening. 2018 certainly been a big year, and um, you know we've come off the back of a, a good World Championships in 2016 as well. So, you know, I think as a team, um, the Jackaroos are in a really good place, and, and we're performing well as a team. And um, yeah, it's nice individually. I feel like I'm contributing to that. A nice shot there from Carl Healy. Certainly was. We're going to see Aaron T's probably attacking this now. Does like a runner. 
I think he doesn't was like a bit worried the, about what was at the front. Well, oh, he's managed to skim his inside. Well, he's that's quite amazing. He chipped that bowl out, and he could be worse off now as well. Beck, you're a, just a most passionate. Well, I've got to I've got to give you a rap here. You're certainly a passionate jackaroo, but you're a you're a very passionate Tasmanian. <laughs> um, I mean, to the point of being parochial. Your nickname is Ricky in most cases, following the uh, the master class that is Ricky Ponting. Well, uh, that's due to you. You gave me that one. But. Did I? <laughs> I thought I gave you the reason. But well, you gave yourself bubbles lately yeah. because you, yeah. you did say you're the bubbliest person in the Jackaroo. So, yeah. Um, you're Tasmania's athlete of the year. You're Tasmania's CEO. <laughs> what else is on the radar? Tasmanian premier. I'm well, assuming. Well, it's got to be the next step, <laughs> hasn't it? It's got to be the next step. Uh, I haven't got time for that at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, look, I, I love my home state of Tassie. Um, yeah, w I've had some wonderful Tasmanian supporters in the crowd here, and uh, my phone has lit up since the finish. Um, there's been a lot of support coming through from back home, and um, it's been fantastic to have these games aired live, and I know that um, I've had a lot of Tassies watching it. So, um, yeah, this is a good win for, for Tasmania. It's our, our first um, Tasmanian to win a, a S Aussie Open singles title, so that's pretty exciting as well. Um, I like notching up the first for Tassie. Yes, so good. sensational. So Aaron. three shots is the advantage here, Glass. And he's in a little bit of trouble. And he's got to hurry. Has he got the speed to reduce this? I'm not sure if he has. Uh, well, he's... Well, has I he think snuck it's still in? Three. I, I'm guessing it's still three. The third one's close. They're not too certain. I think they've now Pretty conceded easy. three shots to Chris Hurden and Carl Healy. And they are out by that margin. Beck Van Ash is going to stick with us. And we've got more action in the men's pairs final coming your way next here at the Australian Open. There's the reactions from earlier today. Rebecca Van Ash, the singles champion at the 2018 Australian Open. Does that bring back some... It's only a couple of hours ago now, but that's the first time you would have seen that, Beck. Does it make you feel... What does it make you feel, I guess? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's still a bit surreal, I guess. Um, so I went actually straight in for a um, drug test straight after this is finished, uh, <laughs> after the game <laughs> finished. And um, tell, me, tell me you're not worried. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm not, certainly oh, not good. worried. Um, Thank you, just checking. <laughs> the only bit I am worried about is the fact that I actually haven't been able to... Yeah, um, yeah, we, yep. yeah, we get it. Yeah, yep. so um, my poor drug testing lady, Asada lady, <laughs> is following me here and she's sitting with me here around um, watching me in the commentary box. Oh, I thought she was just interested <laughs> in the commentary, to be honest. Because she um, actually, yeah, can't leave me at the moment. So, um, yeah, it's dragging on a little bit. <laughs> she's lucky, you like a chat, so that's all right. That's, uh, you get along fine, I'm sure. So, you um, were a bit concerned at one stage out there. You had a drive and, and when you did that, you had a bit of a, a slip if I may, and you were doing some stretches for a couple of ends uh, after that. But yeah, interestingly twice. enough, it was you were actually on the back foot at that stage. You, you, you actually hit the target you were going for. You had slipped. You got a poor result. You're on the back foot on the scoreboard. And from that level on, only three or four shots, but from that level on, you seem to go up another gear. Yeah, I got really annoyed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, it, really we could it actually did fire me up a little bit. <laughs> yep. Um, Because it happened to me twice. I, I played a weighted shot earlier and then the flat out drive and um, on both occasions I slipped on it. Um, so I was very frustrated by that um, because I don't think that that should happen in our sport. Um, so that was yeah a little bit annoying and I felt like it was almost going to take my drive out of the game because it, I'd felt a bit of a twinge Solid. and thought, oh, I can't do that oh, again. What a great, oh, shot. great shot. Aaron T's Aaron T's played that to perfection. No idea, mate. Perfect shot. Um, yeah, so I was a little bit annoyed about that. So it, um, I just tried to put it out of my head and knuckle down again and, yeah. And it, is there it, an injury? Maybe it fired me up. I, I'm, it, I'm just a little bit sore, but I'm sure it'll come right. So big prize check. Are we talking... A pram, um, <laughs> yeah. maybe a, a certain colour in the baby's bedroom or something? Or yeah, well, it'll probably all go towards the nursery now, so um, uh, my money's not my money that anymore. <laughs> were, you, uh, were you just fishing to try and get a reveal of the, the gender of Beck's baby there, oh, Stephen? Not going there, Jack. No, not well, I can honestly say I don't know the gender at this stage. It's so, oh, um, very subtle of you. Yeah. I do believe you're saying if it was male, if it was a boy, it would be Stephen, which is wonderful. Thank you for that, Beck. That's I think that was on the no list oh. that yeah. you might have been right. reading. Okay, yeah. then. Aaron Tees is interested. Gif, gif, gif. They've played three great bowls here, both players. Mm, good effort. Really good shots. Yeah, no, it was one of the best games of singles I reckon I've seen, Beck, that uh, 
too, Christine. You both hold your heads very high. Mm. You're joining us next week. We're off to the UK. So there's um, well, there's just no break, is there? And, and both you and Christina um, on that tour, which is wonderful. So we have now heard a whisper because of your performances that you'll be sitting in 1A and 1B respectively. So let's hope that comes off. You're oh, pretty happy about that. That sounds great. I'm cool with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. No, look, I'm really looking forward to the trip to the UK. We've got, um, you know, a great young team going and, uh, you know, I think we've got a lot to learn over these next four years um, leading up to Birmingham. So um, for three of the, the girls, it'll be their first trip um, playing outdoor in the UK. So it is certainly an experience. I've only done it once before. So, um, yeah, so it's really exciting. And um, I think today really proved with Christina's strong performance as well that um, right, huh? women's bowls in Australia is certainly in good hands with our next generation coming through. Couldn't agree more. One shot to the good. Aaron Tees and Harley McDonald. Aaron Tees with one to come. He works his way to the mat and that chewing gum is getting a ferocious working out at the moment. Beck, any, uh, any talent coming through the pathways in Tasmania that you care to speak of or you're going to keep it in the house and not not let us know about or anything like that or <laughs> no we've got some fantastic youngsters coming through um i think a lot of people are familiar with um michael and Lockie sims unfortunately i think we're maybe just losing michael to victoria um in the coming months so that's um a little bit of a disappointment for us but uh, we've still got Lockie, and um he's showed some great potential um having played australian under 18s before as well and um in our girls, we've got youngsters like Georgia Morn and Lauren Banks coming through, and Lauren will be representing our Tassie contingent at the um, Champion Champions being held in Tassie in October. Um, so that's really exciting, and um, I think that'll be a great experience for her as well. That's fabulous. Beck, how did you find the conditions today? We've just been, I guess, tossing it around if the rain might have changed things a little bit that early little shower that we got before this like final but that was <laughs> almost perfect just conditions wise for your game yeah it's certainly it's the quickest the greens run um i've been really fortunate i've had quite a few games here at broad beach um throughout the open and this was today was definitely the quickest green, green four here at broad beach for those that know um yeah, is mate. quite a good green quick green anyway it's probably one of the quickest of the four um, but today was certainly the quickest that was running and um, it was certainly pretty wide out there, but we were very lucky there was no wind. It was a nice still day. Um, both sides were fairly even, so we, um, we really scored a treat today. Two-shot lead for Chris Hurd and, and Carl Healy. We've only no, had no, on. one end in the match, which was two or more. Three shots. Shows that there's been very little separating these Hang two from up, the mate. start. Hang up. Oh, you have. Hurry now. I oh, played it very well right, again. Buddy. The pair's discipline, Beck. It's you're no stranger to that. <laughs> Silver medalist and gold medalist here in the Australian Open. In the pairs. The differences, I guess, for those watching at home who are quite new to the sport, the the subtleties of the differences between playing in a pair as opposed to being there out there on your own? Yeah, pairs is one of my favourite disciplines. Don't um, change that up, mate. We were a bit Sit disappointed that, that we didn't make it to three finals in a row this year, but um, you know, it's, it re I really enjoy three bowl pairs as well. I know a lot of people um, comment that they prefer um, two and walk with the crossover pairs and, and different formats. Um, I enjoy three bowls because it's a nice and quick game. Mm. Um, I, I think a lot of people say that they think it's a skips game, which I would disagree well, with. I think if you've got a really good, strong lead with three bowls, um, it's very hard to beat a team like that. So, um, yeah, look, I think it's great if you can get a really good, strong combination in a, in a duo, then um, they're very hard to beat. And it's not easy to get a, a good mix. But Big drive. Um, and nails it. Good shot. Chris Hurd and put that one well and truly out of bounds. That was... Halfway down the road. Pretty interesting end. We've gone from extreme short end for the leads to now dish to ditch for the skippers. So an end of two halves, so to speak. Yes. Now the skips can just pretend they're leading. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Nothing in their road. The roles changed completely. We've got nations from... 
all over the world competing. It's great, isn't it? It's fantastic. All over the world. Still got a heavy feature of bowlers from Hong Kong, Glass, that are involved in the event. Canada. Just to name a few. New Canada, Zealand. of course. New Zealand. New Zealand. Alex Scotland. Marshall, the great, yep. is here. He's got to be almost Aussie now, hasn't he? <laughs> almost. Semi. You've got Ireland, Aussie Jez, yep. plus some others. Alex Marshall seems to have spent more time here than in Scotland in the last two years. One game. <laughs> and number nine. So we're at the halfway point in this final. So, ditch to ditch now. I'll check out these boys, see how they lead, as you say, Beck. Pretty handy starter from both. Nice positive draw shots. I think the last thing they'll be wanting to do is drop short now. Too true. So, a bit over three weeks or so, you return from UK. What then? Um, so for me, unfortunately, I'm uh, unable to play in the Nugget, at the, at the Golden Nugget at the start of August. Um, but there's obviously that great event on for a, a lot of our players. Um, I've got my second week in August, our state pennant finals in Sydney, uh, where I play for St John's Park. So I'm really looking forward to that after we won the pennant this year. So um, it'd be really nice to see what state finals in Sydney is all about. And then the indoor... Australian Indoor Championships at the end of August. So do you actually have any months. time to be the CEO <laughs> of Vols <Balls> Tasmania? <laughs> yeah, do, you any, do you have any time to be a mum? <laughs> I was just thinking, when I was saying that, I just thought there's probably heaps of Tasmania bowlers there going, Get oh my work. God, when's she actually <laughs> doing any work? <laughs> but, um, I'll vouch for you because I know how much you do outside of normal hours anyway, so um, I'll certainly vouch for you for that. So if anyone is misinterpreting <laughs> that... Please don't be too harsh. I'm usually getting in trouble on Aussie trips because um, Coach Glasson is telling me to put the laptop away and focus on bowls. But um, <laughs> it's, it's been good these last couple of weeks because I, I get a lot of work done when I'm up here on the Gold Coast and, and it's really handy to have uh, a lot of the Bowls Australia staff around to ask questions of as well. So I think that's probably helped my bowls because I haven't uh, just been able to worry about that. So we're back to one shot's the difference. Low scoring. Around the mark, the boys. I wouldn't say they peppered the jack no. in the um, temporary leads role then, but. So, Beck, there have been sports people over the journey who have uh, named their children after places in the world where they've achieved <laughs> great success. You are now a Commonwealth Games gold medalist and. Now an Australian Open champion for the second time here at Broadbeach and the Gold Coast in <laughs> Queensland. Can we coordinate some part of this region into the, <laughs> into the name? I don't, don't know about... I know there's Goldie Horn, but I don't know about Goldie or something. Yeah, no, little, I don't, little, don't think so. A little mermaid or something? Or, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well... Helen? Is it Helen's Vale? I'm just trying to think. <laughs> well, start off. Good start of them. Um... Funnily enough, my Aussie teammate, Lindsay Clark, who um, is also expecting her his, her second child in October, put me onto an app called Kinder. <laughs> Kinder. <laughs> and, um, Kinder. Yes. <laughs> not, so not the other one. This, no, is, so it's this is a true Kinder. story, isn't it? This is it is. Yeah. And the idea of the app is um, works a little bit like Tinder <laughs> in the fact that you and your partner both have the app and name suggestions come up, boy or girl names, and you swipe left if it's a no, and <laughs> swipe right if it's a Are yes. So Are my husband and I have up. both got this app, and we've ha gone through hundreds of names, and it's supposed to alert you when you finally get a match. And this has been going on for a week, and we still haven't got a match. <laughs> oh, <So> dear. <laughs> You're a fair way apart in that case. <laughs> did you we've meet by Tinder, you and Alex? Or no, no, we did no. not. <laughs> <laughs> We're a bit young for Tinder. Yeah. We've been together a long time. You might have missed that wave. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be stunned if there wasn't some form of... Either end, really, mate? Ricky in that name somewhere. Oh, God. <laughs> it's ending up... A, it's a, uh, look, all I can say is it's a really good thing that we've got until middle of December to worry about yeah. it. <laughs> just out of curiosity, if you could just yourself pick a name... <laughs> Come on. Just out of curiosity, what would what it be? 
No, I, no, I don't give that away. No, okay. <laughs> Just in case. Shot advantage now falls to McDonald and Tees. I think we've established one thing. It won't be Steve. <laughs> I'm quite sure of that. We're very clear on that. <laughs> well, I wish you very well, Beck. Um, I know how excited you and Alex are and deservedly so and all your family and everybody. So stay tuned, everyone. Well, this is a good shot from Chris Hurd. Great news coming in about the middle of December. Yeah, thank you. No, it is very exciting and uh, everything's been going really well so far. So um, we're keeping our fingers crossed that everything continues that way and um, we have a nice little healthy arrival. And, uh, good, um, good. and when, you've when you come to Sydney, Uncle Steve can <laughs> Absolutely. look after Bubs. Absolutely. Had plenty of experience, Glass. Well, part of the service, I think. Just uh, <laughs> if Beck can keep playing like she's playing, I'm quite happy to babysit, so... <laughs> well, it's nice to actually finally be talking about it because um, it was something <laughs> I had to keep secret during the Com Games. So, um, mm. so it was yeah. It's nice to actually have it out in the open now. And you had some challenges in Darwin, didn't you, at the Australian sides? As far as um, people knowing, you had some challenges back home post Commonwealth Games because everybody <laughs> wanted to party with you for yes, two gold medals. It was difficult to to uh, hide the no, no partying side of things. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I had, did have two. Pretty bad well weeks played. of Again, Carl Healy. Two pretty bad weeks of morning sickness, unfortunately, and um, it coincided with a trip around the country with um, with Goldock celebrating the Commonwealth Games, and then our week in Darwin for the Australian Side Championship. So I was a bit disappointed because I felt like I'd let our Tassie team down a little bit. <laughs> did have to miss a few games, and unfortunately couldn't tell them why. So it, <laughs> it was nice to be able to finally tell them why I was. Um, Aaron Tees, well. what a shot. Oh, they're trading great blows touch. on this what end. A shot. Both skips in great touch. Now, Beck, we are going to give you the opportunity to go and have a, a nice uh, green tea or, or a <laughs> cuppa or something like that. I have to keep drinking water for a little while. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you do. You, you've got some other duties that haven't been fulfilled yet. But thanks for joining us in the commentary box here. It's been great to have you. Uh, and congratulations. I know you've been hunting this one for a while, so you Thank can you. now finally call yourself the singles champion. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me, and um, I hope this game continues in the good fashion it's going. Well, well just, soon. just this end at the moment, Glass. Fantastic. Crazy. I think the girls inspire them. The amount of quality shots that we've seen, and we're not done yet. Yeah, the weight's really good, just a touch high. thinking here that it's we heard Harley McDonald say that it's just might have opened things up a little bit touch it through there over this almost well, there's a couple of options here in the fact that exactly what they're saying defense wise there's a few little blue ones there just waiting in the wings if the jack is trailed by Carl Healy through the port they could make a number alternatively if Teasy was to just get a touch on his own shot bowl, he could increase the lie here. So he'd be more so trying to get around the pack here. But if he is tight, that's an option. Not so tight. Not tight. There you go. Not short. Not short. Some good commentary there from Aaron Tease. Yeah. Well, it's in the game. It's a little bit further than he might have liked, but it's still... It forces Carl into playing the correct weight, which makes the shot actually harder. There's been nothing between these teams right from the very start. Now Carl Healy needs to come up with something big. He's watching it. Is he going to get back? If he gets back, oh, it's a magnificent try. Just high. He's in the in the neighbourhood. Not close enough. Ten ends played. Seven shots apiece in the men's pairs final. Stick with us here at the Broad Beach Bowls Club. This one is going to go right down to the wire. Aaron Tees in full motion. As part of the men's pairs final, Chris Hurden has been terrific. Played his role beautifully. 
for his combination. And as we expected, a lot of bowls in close proximity to the jack. Seven all after 10 ends. Barry Lester rejoins us in commentary. Baz, you've been ringside for the last couple of ends, just having a good look. What are your impressions? Uh, I think uh, the, the shape of the game is basically made up of the front end. Uh, as we see there, Harlan Donald, he's got a bowl right near the jack. And unfortunately, the opposition's got to ch chase that bowl off or try and get the shot back. So that front end pressure is really shaping this match. Aaron T's last end played a great conversion. But it's that front end pressure, especially three bowl pairs. Uh, and uh, once again, <laughs> all bowls down that centre rink. True indication this green is playing really nice. The line's quite predictable. It's just a matter of getting those two together and, and playing good line end length. It's a tight old affair, isn't it? Seven all on 10, 14 shots over 10 ends. Sometimes, just suddenly, out of the blue in these situations, someone jags a, a score, don't they? Bad, yeah. like four or five or something, so. And there's a great opportunity here for Carl. Uh, sit the ball for three, trail the jack into that, that pair of Chris Hurdens. And the quality player, Carl Healy, is he won't be far away all, with all three attempts. He's not far away. Very close. Just either a tad higher or take quick one or the other. Nothing in it. Actually worked out pretty well to, to pair, to match those back bowls of two of Harley McDonald's and one of Aaron T's in case there was any further jack movement. T's he might try and change his head up and restrict Carl Healy's options. Just missing. Oh. Well, he's caught a bit of it. He certainly tidied it up a little bit, but the option's still there. Just a little bit more difficult now. The option is to go quicker, get both bowls. Let's think, he, does he switch to the backhand and look for both bowls mm. or stay on that forehand and I think he's got to play enough weight that if he does miss the head completely, he does get back again up towards the tee because they already do have the back of spot. Yeah, he's close again here. So he shaves on past. Oh, he's he made three touch. seconds of it now, Glass. And only had to touch that shot bowl and he scored then, so nothing in it. It's easy, another bowl in the head. Constructing this end very nicely. I think whatever happens here, um, Aaron Tees has got to just try and protect this head get another one in there or try and change up the angles because Carl Healy is thinking I'm getting that bowl out for three or killing it for one <laughs> it's just a matter of executing it then Aaron T's backhand well he's, he's certainly reaching so well he's just wide of it so the opportunity's there there's three seconds now, the big decision, what speed to play? Oh, the, the best thing about this head for Carl Healy, he's got bowls on either side of the target. So the chance of getting all three of his out, very unlikely. He's got the luxury of having the backest bowl. So the kill is an option. Does he look to play it neat or does he go big glass? I think he'll look to play just a metre, a metre and a half, two metres, I think. Man the bowl and stay four. Forehand. Maybe a touch quicker than what he has played them. Yes, he is. Just a touch quicker. He's still looking at it. Carl Healy. Here he comes. Well, he's got a shot, Carl Healy. Oh, Carl yes. Healy. Right in the middle. That's what dreams are made of. That is exactly what he was after. Here it is again. He's hit this one flush. Couldn't have got it better. Chris Hurden, very happy with that. Nice little high five there. That's a good little, uh, good little game changer, that. It's got to spark the confidence of both players. Get things back on their terms. Grab a length. Great well, shot. We were Great just shot. talking about that a couple of minutes ago, weren't we, that it can maybe just be one end sometimes that can change the momentum. I wonder whether that's the springboard for Chris Hurden and Carl Healy. I know Carl Healy had to play that shot, but Chris Hurden set it all up. It was all, the, all the ingredients was he had two bowls in there and the backest. Now, if Chris Hurden didn't have the backest bowl, 
in which we mentioned earlier about having that third bowl up and giving it a chance. You take away Chris Hurden's back bowl, they're four or five down at the back. Carl Healy can't play that way. Because yeah. if he kills it, he drops a four or five. So that uh, three bowl pairs, you make sure to bring that third bowl and, and, and put it, keep it in the game. And keep it up. It was just a, a great mm. example of working together there. Come on, buddy. What do you got? Right up. Decent reply there from Harley. Yeah, well done, mate. Just just eight inches what short. That? You're that, mate. Can still draw it there. These are the business ends. These are the ends that can really shape shape up a final. You can either skip away and get a create a nice little lead or peg okay. it back. And shots like that from Harley McDonald is just what Aaron Tees would like. Up, Chris. Mm. Further. Further. Uh, great play from both leagues here. Better there, mate. Roll yours, trail jack. Harley represents the Warilla Bowls Club alongside his teammate in this match, Aaron Tees, also from Warilla. Saw the king of Warilla, Jeremy Got Henry, walking around here before. Hurry that line, mate. Miss the front. Hurry. Shot. Yeah, that's a great oh. shot. Oh, perfect. A little shimmy up the front, but it didn't matter because he was all over it anyway. He's much the same, mate. He's jack high. That's the shot. Good call from Aaron Tees. Just asking Harley McDonald to arrive there, turn his own up or trail the jack. He was in the area and he was rewarded for that. Aaron Tees just letting the marker know that he's getting low on chalk. That's never a bad thing if you're a skipper. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful position yeah. to be in, isn't it? You would have had that last year with Joshy Thorne, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> yep. So, Harley McDonald can turn a one down from two bowls ago into a three up here. It's looking pretty good to there. Oh. Swoop, he's asking to swoop, and well it is done. swooping. That's how you respond to a loop dropping a three. You get your lead to put three inside ten inches. Outstanding. That's what good players do. They respond. Carl Healy, oh, he's got to play a big one here. Not only has he got to get shot, he's got to start getting some bowls in the head. Still a fair bit of room for Aaron Tees to add to the count. Got a few bowls to use, or he can play forehand looking for the jack. Backhand it is. Just looking to arrive, making sure he's there. Just sitting on a bowl. He's got a couple to choose from. He's very close. Gee, the standard, well, Carl Healy, yeah, a, in, the standard has lifted in the shot. last 10 minutes. It was already high. It's a fantastic shot again, Carl Healy. It's gone to another level here. There is definitely an urgency now in these players knowing. There is. 11 ends in. It's time to go. It is time to move. T is looking for the bowl of Carl Healy's. Under butt. Oh, oh, how's the members bounce? Aaron Tees, a ball tight. <laughs> he was in the area, but he was a ball tight. But <laughs> Carl Healy still got a couple of good options here. I suppose anyone can play the clean shot, can't they? He wants to challenge himself by, you know, making life a little bit more difficult, maybe. Exactly. I doubt that's the case, but. <laughs> Not a mile away, Carl. Has he got the legs? He wants to be there. He wants to be there. Has he drawn it? It's very close. Wow. On an inch as well. Might have. Hey, he's has very it's close. still a really good shot. Oh, got Harley one. favours the, the white bowls. I think uh, Aaron Tees will be on the money again here. He's got a good opportunity just to turn his own shot bowl in or slide around the back. Bit of value, but Carl Healy, can he do it with his last bowl? Two ends in a row. He sits this wing bowl of Aaron Tees, he makes four, and all of a sudden Aaron Tees will be left to have to play a big bowl. Or does he just try and tap his own bowl up for shot? Carl Healy, forehand. What would you be playing, Baz? 
I think, sort of six to ten feet, looking for the white bowl of Aaron Tees. He doesn't want to doesn't want to uh, leave it off the green. He wants something behind. He's interested again. He's very close. Doesn't want the there hole. There is a hole there. Well, well he's, he's played it well. Carl he's, Healy. He's made at least two, maybe three or four. That's probably best case Straight scenario out. for what he was hoping for. I get into our split. Mm, this is interesting. <laughs> 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 I'd love to see Aaron Tees come down for a walk. The head's changed a fair get bit. There's the been jack. jack movement. Well, hey. this is... That's a case of the lead just going on the skip because the skip wants to play it. It's not a bad option, but well, he doesn't like it. No. And this is this is the uh, aftermath. And Barry, you're right. A walk down to have a look would have been the perfect scenario. So, bit of a rush of blood to the head, perhaps. Well, there's a couple of conversions, two ends running from Carl Healy to really change the, the complexion of this game. Well, he played three really good bowls there, Glass. He's, he started the end at three down, Carl Healy. Yeah. He's played a bomb with his first, nearly drawn it with his second, sat a bowl for three with his third. So that's, you know, that's four bowls in the last two ends in a row he's been effective. So he's really stepping up and, uh, you know, really proving to his opposition that he, that he really wants it. And they haven't been easy shots too, you know, weight critical. So Six shots in two ends. The Hurden and Healy combination have picked up. And they've made their move. And your call was absolutely spot on, Barry. That, that You could kind of just sense that both teams, they were feeling each other out early. They were a bit cautious at times. And it's as if they both looked at each other and said, OK, let's go. Yeah, in that particular environment uh, and situation that Teasy was in, um, a, just, a, just a walk down to the head might have seen something from a different angle, just to slow things down. You know, Carl's you know, got a springy step. He's played some couple of big conversions just to maybe just to go down, really assess all the angles and, and, and come away with a really agreeable shot to play with his partner in Harley. And uh, you never know, it could have been a different spot. Um, Aaron saw it. He wanted to play it. Start, mate. And if he gets it, well, he's obviously done everything right as well. So... Well, both both shots were options. There's no doubt about that, and it, it probably looked so inviting seeing that big wall there to play. But again, I just wonder if he might have played it differently had he come down and done the special. But anyway, that is history now. Full credit to Carl Healy. He's played Good some mate. fabulous conversions throughout. No more so than the last couple of ends to give them a nice little buffer. Six up, six to go. Chris Hurden, Harley McDonald, really good battle up front. You know, Harley's previous end, three bowls inside, sort of, you know, a foot, pretty much. And here's another really good bowl. They've had a good battle up front. You're the boss, mate. <laughs> You're the boss, is the call to Chris Hurden. Yeah, a little spring in his step after this one, Chris. Most players at this level, if they chase on after it, it's a, going to be a good bowl. Ah, it's pulling up short, but that'll do for shot. All four bowlers playing well and in rhythm too. I think we've gone, gone past those early stages where there's a couple of loose bowls, but I think all players now are on top of these conditions. Got, got a real good feel for the speed. And there's an example of that, Harley McDonald. A little stiff, but oh, really good shot. Yeah, a little stiff there. As, as you say, it's a really good extra bowl on the head for them. Good shot. So I've got the green running at about 15 seconds at the moment. Just lost a fraction of speed due to a little bit of a shower earlier. But heads like this is a true indication of how nice the conditions are and how nice this green is here at Broad Beach Bowls Club. It's been immaculate. Carl Healy. 2013 Australian champion of champions, men's pairs gold, 2017 New South Wales state pairs champion. Racking up the wins. This format definitely suits him. Absolutely. Runner up in the Australian pairs at Marimbula last year. Very close again here too. Well, another good shot and he's made the shot out of that or confirmed there's still one.
I guarantee he's just asking Harlan McDonald is the split any good? So solid forehand with weight. Looking for, for half of Carl Healy's last bowl. It's not a bad result. It's open to head up. It's a pretty good result for him, really, isn't it? And they've so also got something beyond the jack. Now, Carl's got to make the choice. Does he just have a clear run to the back? Does he just go straight away to the back, or does he try and tidy this head up a little bit, just change it a bit? Because Teasy will hit something here. <laughs> He's got two bowls left. He's not going to miss this entire pack. So, yeah, I like the call. I think that's a really good idea. Looks as though that cannon is lining up on the jack, so I reckon he'll be behind. Certainly just arriving, that's for sure. Nothing for short. There's definitely a bit of an aura about Carl Healy at the moment. He does look in sync. He's chasing down after this one. Well, he's very close again here. He's super confident leaving the chalk on his bowl. Any contact will help. Oh, that's a and great that's shot. Yeah, well played, Carl Healy. It's another good shot. It's given them Back and up through it. the Back definitive whoosh. shot. Or not. Or not. What's better? I think the bottom line is it's no good where it is. So no. Whichever hand, get it out of there. You can get it out now. Aaron Tees. Backhand with weight, looking Good. to change his head up. He's played Good. it well. Oh, my oh God. Oh, wow. Just catching the wrong angle there. He got everything he wanted except the jack. That is a, just a dreadful result. And that's kind of tucked that jack away a little bit now. Maybe, I'm going to be critical here, maybe a more, can I say, conscientious call from Harley. Harley was a little bit, have a, you know, backhand. No, 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 hang on, forehand. No, no. And, I mean, I'm being very critical, and I don't mean it because Harley's a fabulous tactician and player and everything. So, But maybe he has got to get in there and say, Teasy, hit it. No this is what around. we want. This yeah. is what's got to happen. You know what I mean? And Convincing. And yes. Yep. That's the excellent word, Barry. Thank you. <laughs> it took me five minutes to get to that stage. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm always reminding Josh Thornton that, so it's, easy, it's an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very convincing. <laughs> Carl looking to just split those, the pack and bowl of Aaron T's out to the wing and get the T as well. So again, three quality shots, Carl Healy. Massive, massive moment in this match. If Aaron T's doesn't convert here, you're looking at 16-7 with five ends to play. It's, it's a, it's a long road. It's back, not impossible, it? but it would take something extraordinary from here. I think we'll see more heat on this this time. Forehand. He's not going big, big. Aaron Tees. So he's he's stalking it. Watching it. He needs it to get down. got a drop. I think he's missed a whole lot. Yeah, yes, he's missed out on the whole thing. Which is a rare miss for Aaron Tees. And now Chris Hurden and Carl Healy have put themselves in the box seat. After 13 ends, they lead 16 to seven, and they are one step closer to being crowned men's pairs champion at the Australian Open. Here's the view from overhead at the Broad Beach Bowls Club. We've got the men's pairs action going on as we speak, and it's become a very, very decisive lead for Chris Hurden and Carl Healy, 16 to seven they lead as we are midway through end number 14. Aaron Tease has got the microphone in for us at the moment on his way to the mat. Teasy, it's going to be a big challenge from here. Yeah, yeah, good game to win from here, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a code nine at the moment. They're, um, <laughs> they're playing extremely well and um, I've missed a couple of crucial runners, which I'm pretty disappointed about, but um, still a few ends left in it. and. We'll just keep battling and see what happens. Absolutely. Life goes on, mate, doesn't it? Yep. You're never over the fat lady sing, so to speak, but there's time. There's plenty of time, so... Yeah, well, that's right. Plenty of time, but um, it is ticking. Teasy, you've got to be pretty happy with the way Harley's going, even yes. though the scoreboard, you know, doesn't look the way you'd like to be. He's still yeah. been rock solid. Yeah, he's, he's played really well. Carl's played some bombs, and I just haven't quite been able to get myself out of it. But, um, as I said, a few ends to go yet, and we'll see what happens. So 
just have a look here as Teasy's working his way through this. He's got to get down a bit. How are you looking? He's got to get down. Speed's very good. Close. Oh, it's a good shot. Well played, Teasy. They've uh, they've been remarkably consistent, Chris and Carl, haven't they? Yeah, they really Aaron, have. They've given um, you nothing to work with. No, nah, that's right. Carl's Carl's been really solid up front, and um, if he has had the offhand and we've held a few, Carl's played the big bomb to get out of it. So, but and here we go again. Keep going, mate. <laughs> keep going. This is pretty fair. Yeah, well played. Yeah. Good shot. And near and possible. <laughs> <laughs> good, really good. Try and. Nah, nah, that's not on either. What do you like? We'll just give Aaron a chance to come down and have a look and have a think about this one. The flipper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the flipper. <laughs> you realise that that's the national coach telling you to do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think there is a, a good cannon on up, up the front. Oh yeah, as long as I don't get onto mine. Well. Let's see how he goes. Plan B. Plan B would be shift Chris Hurden's front bowl here if he doesn't get the result he's after. Yeah, look at this. Well, hang on a sec though. Something like that. But he's unfortunately two downs. A mighty attempt. Open it up for you. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, Carl Healy's got a really good opportunity here too to make a bigger number. We'll leave you to ponder that, Teasy. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Thanks, Eve. <laughs> <laughs> got a good sense of humour, isn't he? He's a great young fella. Oh, he's very well experienced, especially the last two or three years to the TV environment, and just so grateful and thankful for him giving up his time to speak to us during a match. But Carl Healy, it's. Okay, I know the head looks kind for him, but you've still got to play it. He can sit a bowl here for potentially four or five shots. If he and happens if he to collect the other white bowl. Well, if he misses, he's going to finish in good spot anyway. So it's all it's all a plus for him at this stage, isn't it? And that's the format if you're following along at home. Three bowls each per player. And we play 18 ends. If you're watching earlier in the day in the women's singles, that was first to 21. This format, a little bit different. It's a specific amount of ends I must admit just judging from the time they started they've both punched through these this game pretty quickly they certainly have and just a safety shot there from Carl yeah, I think, looking yeah. at the score but and, that, and look that's more than reasonable too he's he's nine up on the board they've they were seven all suddenly it's 16 seven he's got a good couple there and Teasy can actually play this shot for him if he's just off target so I think a good common sense shot from Carl there Cut your losses. Um, everything's looking good at the moment. Yeah, uh, a brave man, a brave man could go big here. Mm -hmm. But I like just backhand four feet away, just try and chip the jack out to Harley's wing bowl and try and stay, maybe and reduce the damage. But yeah, we're seeing some decent weight here on the forehand. The, the other thing is. There are four bowls on the other side of the rink, four white bowls. So if he gets a good jam, he's close. And Great there shot. It is. There it is. Wow. That was a side that was always a danger. That's what he's capable of. Fabulous conversion from Aaron Tees. Keeps him in this match. Had to play it and got it. Yeah, no fear there at all. And why not? When you're down, you go down swinging. So he literally did that. Aaron Tees, forehand with weight. Two down to two up. Big conversion. And this game is, don't worry, it's still well and truly alive. Forehand. Looking for jack movement. Quality shot, Glass. Absolutely. And it's funny sometimes when you see the angles and you think, well, the jack can't get there. And strangely enough, it does. A little that bit was a good example there. A little bit so of a come on there too from absolutely. Aaron Tees to Harley McDonald. You start doing your math now. You start doing little equations to see how you can extract... Uh, a comeback, a win out of this. So, you know, pretty simply put, seven shots over four ends, two an end, shake hands, and the trophy's yours. So, and you start playing the heads accordingly, trying to attack the jack, yeah. set up a, a chance for a multiple. Bit of a start, mate. You certainly, if you're going to go down, you go down swinging, that's for sure. For those of you Good. watching on SBS, in the next 15 minutes or so, you'll need to lose us, leave us for other commitments. If you want to stay tuned, on the bottom of your screen there, 
is how you can keep watching the conclusion of this men's pairs final. Well, tactically, Tease and McDonald have had a little chat and said, let's go ditch to ditch. Once again, another little good idea just to try everything before you shake hands, to know that you can walk off the green and say, well, we tried different hands with different lengths, aggression, and uh, so far, so good, Harley McDonald. Got a bowl inside just on two feet. And this one not too far away as well. Just change the pattern of the game up. Both bowls well and truly in the match. So as the sun starts to slowly set in the background, 4-4 four four players tra chasing the 2018 Australian Open men's pairs title. Chris Hurden doing enough a shot there. The difference is seven. It becomes all about multiples for T's and McDonald now, doesn't it? They need a big end. The good thing is it's not big multiples, though. You don't have to be looking at getting fours and fives, you know. A double that maybe turns into a triple or something, perhaps. You just never know, as we saw last end. So, And Hurd and Healy just need to win ends. Reduce the ends now. Or well, ones even one downs are good, aren't they? Correct. But yeah, and that's why I was really, I really liked Carl's option with his last bowl, last end glass. Try and take the two, soak up another end. Um, it took some brilliance from Aaron Tees to to create a two there. But one thing I do like over this length, ditch to ditch, 36 meters, is the fact that Harley McDonald's put two bowls well and truly into play, and now it's Aaron Tees' job to. Either draw a shot or bring those bowls into play. $10,000 is the prize money for the winners to be split between them. $5,000 for the runners up. Aaron Tees, I think he's actually looking for the jack here. Backhand with a little bit of a riving weight. It's an aggressive shot, isn't it? He's not just trying to draw it, so he's, well. Well, the pot thickens, though. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I can see the look on your face, Nelly. Yeah, I just maybe thought, try and get the shot first and then maybe look at a number. But, well, the thing is, it, it, it's a confidence thing, isn't it? Now, I rate Aaron Tees on the draw. We know he's got an, a great aggressive game, but I really rate him on the draw. He's almost saying to us there that he's not confident of drawing two or three shots. He's got probably a metre. To me, that's... As you say, first bowl, draw the shot with your first one. Let's see. Yeah, and, and, si and that, you know, even if he picks up a one, 16, 10, you know, three ends to go. Carl Healy now, too much room just to try and protect the damage out the back there. No, that's he, a good shot. Yeah, he's right in amongst the three of them there. Shot. So, I think Tease now just has to try and make sure he gets the shot. Anything multiple is a bonus. It's now more of a delicate touch of the jack now, isn't it? It's he wasn't far away with his first no, attempt. He's, he's still looking, looking at it. Oh, they're having a big look here. He holds. He's just got to hold. Oh, that's a fantastic effort. <laughs> oh. Weight's perfect. That's probably been the story of the match in many ways, hasn't it? That they've been close. His weight, both occasions, for what he was after, was spectacular. Now, mm. Carl Healy, he just needs to get to one of those Aaron Tees bowls. As the shadow starts to cast its way across this rink, Carl Healy's not there. What is it? He's human. Two. He hasn't missed many. He has not. <laughs> but Aaron Tees, as he chews on that chewing gum, <laughs> is thinking, how do I make a number? I think he just needs to get the shot. He's two down. If he draws a toucher on the forehand, he can still get a couple. So he, There's an option backhand, look for the jack and take Carl Healy's back bowl out to make a four or five. Um, you know, maybe go big for both blue. Even the, even the nearest blue might secure him a couple of shots, but there's still plenty of room then for Carl Healy in the form he's in. Only one. It's in by like that. Um. <laughs> he's the sort of player that... It's either that or I look for the bowl. The degree of difficulty is not normally an issue. 
In fact, it, it excites him. It does. It does. She does. It's well, it's well put, Jack. It does. I, I think he's also thinking here, yeah, I can try and draw it. Now, if I fall two foot short, you know, I haven't changed anything. Yeah. Whereas I think he's thinking here, maybe if I do play some form of weight, look for a bowl or shift some jack movement, and you know, jack out over under the peg might be one or two or... Well, he could possibly go the jack here and <laughs> he get is. the back one on the way he's through He's going well. the jack. He's going the jack. Well, Why get, not? He can get the jack. Is he going the jack or he's actually going the bowl here? Now, off this, here comes the jack, off that, and no. Oh, <laughs> but <laughs> not far oh, off. Oh, well, it's, it's worth a look. At least one. Look for two. Chris Hurden just. <laughs> oh, he said it was two down. It was one by about half a bowl. So it probably was three. Now, Carl Healy just touches this jack two or three inches and it's pretty good for three. Form is in. You're back in to probably draw a shot here at least. These are the ones you really want to make count, especially this stage of the match. He's got uh, just over two feet of room here to count. They can just hammer home the advantage here. Well, he's walking confidently after it, so he's just got to run the distance now. Herdo's a little yeah. flap. He's in. He touches now, the jack. Does he get the jack? Does he get the jack? Yes, he, he does. does. Wow. Great shot. Carl Healy, that's a uh, fabulous touch. He's been brilliant. They've just been like a metronome, these two. They have not missed a beat from the very start. Three-shot lead, and they have blown this men's pairs final wide open now. They lead 19 to 9 Jack, after 15 ends. And Jack, what was that word you just used? A metronome. Please explain. That's out of my... You know the metronomes that oh, tick, those tick, things tick, awesome tick, yeah, they're used in music. Oh, yeah. good stuff. No, well, so don't I miss a beat. Got, well, see, I haven't got any <laughs> music... <laughs> um, artistry capabilities in my bones, so so you learn something every day. There you go. I, I just want to focus a little bit. Uh, Carl Healy's played some big conversions, but the thing about three bowl pairs is the front front end, the lead, must give all bowls a chance. And Chris Hurden, mm. he, right effort, he has really had a, a short bowl. And not only has he been around the jack, he's always gen generally been passed, which has given Carl Healy the opportunity to play those conversions. He's, he's had one kind of deep, hasn't he? Yeah. And it's worked wonders for them, so. And uh, play. a really, really rock solid player, Chris Hurden, across all sort of disciplines all players, and, and right. events around the scenes. And good. if they get up yeah. today, it's uh, a little bit of reward for some hard work over the years for Chris Hurden. He's a yeah. real rock solid player and uh, does win a lot out on the circuit. But three ends to play, anything can happen. That's a good effort here, See mate. See where he goes with this one, whether he does try and draw another one, whether well he actually goes deep again. Too good, mate. I'm tipping he won't be short. Right here, mate. Yeah. Got him to just get past the white's ideal. This time under direction, but in most cases he, he's even done it without direction, hasn't he? So. Carl Healy's gone in. He knew exactly what he wanted. He called it. Chris Hurden now just oh plays mate, it. Mate. There's no chit chat, way, no mate. indecisions, just no questioning, no exactly total faith in the call. And that's how you need to be as a good pair. And when you're good mates off off the green and play a lot together, anything is achievable. So Harley McDonald, some jack movement would be really Green's good here. Find a tent, buddy. Up. <laughs> 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 There's a little bit oh. of frustration there from TZ2 yeah. in, a, in a very nice, mild manner, so. Well, if you were chasing a number, you would want your lead to put three bowls sort of near each other, and Harley McDonald's done that. Any jack movement's going to be in their favour. Is there a late twist here? Is there, a, is there some jack move? Is there a number approaching? And Carl Healy, about a yard shorter than what he wanted, trying to match those three bowls of Harley McDonald's. There is a chance, and this is just the man for the job. Aaron T's looking to shift the jack or sit the shot bowl. It's not a good shot in the head. That's four bowls right near each other. That's what you need for multiples. Gotta get to those or just pass, mate. So the desired result for Carl Hillier is just trying to protect any damage. 
He's definitely up on this occasion. Mm. He just wanted a meter on his last, really, didn't he? So this is good. That's good there. It's close, not too far away from those white bowls. It ensures TZ plays the correct weight to, uh, to try and get the result. The key here is trying to get the jack away from the blue bowl and make that blue bowl vulnerable. Any jack movement is for the better. He's got some interest in it. He's got and something. Well, well, he's, gee, Aaron T's. He'd only had to connect on one of those white bowls and stay and around. stay, yep. Just needs to lock, didn't he? Just needs to lock it in. He couldn't have played it much better. Mighty attempt. He's actually got it out clean. <laughs> what a great effort, though, Aaron <laughs> T's. Shot. When you're what chasing a number, you can't do much more than that. No, well done, very well good done. Shot. Now. On other days, that jack sticks, doesn't it? Well, it rattles around, kicks yeah. out the side. You're yep. holding two or three. You've got last bowl. And now, I is that really only one shot up for grabs? Touch of three here. Be a match lie. May already be three. So Aaron T's on the forehand. That's basically the key to stay in the game. He looks to be tight. Gonna hang on, is he? Uh, he should hang on for at least second or third, so. Yeah, he's played it well. He's just got to knock this count down a little bit. Uh, one or two. It just depends now. They may even concede here. I know that sounds a little odd, but if it's two, out of courtesy and respect to the opposition, sometimes you can see. See that? Need two sixes. You can see that. Aaron Tease and Harley McDonald just had a little bit of a. Just. <laughs> a bit of eye contact, as if to sort of say, do we... Do we, don't we? Do and we? And, and Aaron said, no, keep going. It's yeah. And and in that situation, it is, it's actually a gracious thing to do. It's saying to your opposition, look, we've got to get 12 over two ends. That's as good as probably in the current situation winning the lotto. Um, <laughs> yeah. But fair to say. So sometimes you might concede saying, look, fellas, you're just too good today. Too good today. So, yeah. And salary. So it's not throwing the towel in or anything like that. It's just... But to the credit, too, they're saying, well, let's have a crack at this. This most certainly will be the final end now. And another element to that would be they've been up here for a couple of weeks. Um, you know, they've, they've wore their heart on their sleeve. They've come right to the deep end of an event. Um, and they just want to finish gracefully and, yeah. and know that, uh, yeah, they gave it every chance. Mathematically, okay, you can still draw the game, but... Gives Herdo and Carl a chance to enjoy the win too while they're still out there. No doubt. Yeah, while they're still playing it. So, unless. There's one. Something freaky, there's one. So, TZ with his <laughs> typical sense of humour. There's one. Five more. Never say never. No, you should never say never. Hasn't laughed the boys. Enjoying themselves, it's great. I'm uh, going to just do a big shout out to the, the green keeping staff here. The, the green right now, the sun's setting, it's close to four o'clock and it's still running on beautifully. All day they have. The players have been, with a lot of ease and comfort have been able to play all the conversion shots, knowing that the green is completely up to scratch. Um, and as, as the sun sets now, this green is still running probably just over 15 seconds. And it's uh, had a bit of moisture, a bit of rain today. And that's why we come to the Gold Coast well, fine, every year mate. for the Australian Open yeah, mate, for these the beautiful greens. We probably should have known, I guess, coming in, we spoke earlier about the scalps that Chris Hurden and Carl Healy took on the way through. Jaden Christie and Aaron Sheriff in the quarterfinal. Kevin Anderson and Ryan Bester in the semifinals. Big scalps, aren't they? Uh, Enormous. It, was, it was such a huge form line coming in. You can draw another on that. And that's not taking any credit away from the wins that Harley and Aaron had on the way through, but they, those quarterfinals and semifinals, they they were huge results for this New South Wales pair. Herdo and, uh, and Carl just shared a, well, a sort of a romantic high five. <laughs> a, bromantic. a romantic high five there. It just lasted that little bit longer, just lingered, the high five, no, and it was almost acknowledgement to say, well, yes, mate, we've got it, and no. I do love you, but we've got it. Happy yeah, days. Chris Herden's just got a Chris Herden's got a cheeky little grin on his face saying, You beauty. Yep. We've won the Australian Open pairs. 
Look at him there. Well deserved, as I mentioned earlier. Chris, very, very consistent player on the circuit. You Two know, years ago, runner-up. You know this feeling. Yep. Well, and yours came right down to the wire, so you didn't get this chance to, to sit back and reflect. But what would Chris be thinking right now? He's, he's at the head. He's done everything he needs to do now. Well, it's an Australian Open title, but probably one of the hardest titles in the world to win. And there we go. Game over. Game over. They'll shake hands here because the white ball's going out of bounds. It's all over. And they've done it. Congratulations. Jack in the ditch. That's Cons it. Consistency has been the key. Chris Herden and Carl Healy. The underdogs coming in to this Australian Open. The underdogs all the way through. And they finish as champions. What a result it is. Chris Herden and Carl A resounding victory for the two New South Welshmen and in their bowls careers glass and they've had some highs but this is as high as it has got a huge result for them both they are absolutely ecstatic as you can imagine so much to celebrate to come out of today's result and they will be forever the champions at the Australian Open and here's Lauren Wood with the champs thank you Jack that's exactly right Carl Healy and Chris Hurden Australian Open champions, how does that sound? Oh, it's, it's a dream. It sounds great. Um, I'd just like to thank my little buddy here. Oh, geez, he played good. Um, it's been a great week, a great two weeks, really. Uh, we've just had a, a great load of fun, and, you know, playing two mates in the final, it's, it, it's always good fun as well. So to come away with a win is just, that's brilliant. That's what we want. And, Chris, nice to have a moment there to soak it up and enjoy it a little bit. Yeah, no, it's pretty special. It's something I always wanted to win, Australian title. Finally happened, and you do it for mate. <laughs> Two very, very happy faces, which is always great to see. And Carl, you were underdogs yeah. in this tournament. Did you sort of come in with that mentality? Uh, yeah, I was just commenting the other day on how all the Bowls Australia releases, uh, our name was never really in the mix with all the, with all the, uh, what's going on. So happy to fly under the radar and hopefully continue to fly under the radar. So yeah, uh, very happy. Chris, we are on the Gold Coast. It is one of the party capitals of Australia. So how are the celebrations going to go tonight? Uh, we're having a couple of sherbets, but nothing too silly. Um, we've got to go home tomorrow. So, yeah, have a couple and go from there. Look out when we get home.